John Carson, Chief Executive Officer for Altera Power Corporation, uh, joining us. So John, it's great to have you here. Thanks. Familiar with your company. You've got a great track record looking to move ahead. You're a leading global renewable energy company, and uh, renewable energy being talked about more and more. What's the view in the future from your perspective, and how does your company feel? Yeah, well, it's been a tough recent go for companies like us, only because, as you know, the benefits that had incented renewable energy renewable projects. On, renewing yeah. credits. I mean, yep, exactly. Yeah. Production tax credits, they're kind of going by the wayside in the United States. So everybody's saying, you know, this is it. We're going to have a hiatus now. Um, I don't see it as being a true hiatus. I see it as a slowdown. And I think that the smarter developers are going to find ways to do deals even without those credits in place. Right now, we're working on getting our next deals done in other places like British Columbia without those benefits in place. So, so how do you appeal to potential shareholders to, to, to jump in? Well, I think that we won't ask them to, you know, to specifically jump in uh, uh, unless we have a compelling uh, product to give them. And today we have that compelling product. We actually have the next projects lined up. We have a contracted, for yeah, example. You have about three projects lined up. We do. We do. Two of them are contracted. Yeah, sure. First, there is a 124 megawatt hydro project in British Columbia. Uh, that's called the Upper Toba Valley Project, fully contracted. Uh, we're now talking to capital providers, partners, lenders, constructors, and uh, we fully expect to have that one ready and teed up for construction by the end of the year. Uh, secondly, there's the Doki Wind Project, also in British Columbia. Uh, we're currently sizing that and is permitted for 156 megawatts. Uh, with that plant, we're not yet contracted, but we're working on that and we expect to get one. Uh, and lastly, there's an 80 megawatt expansion of our geothermal project, Reykjanes, in Iceland. Uh, and that project is contracted. We're currently working out some different uh, angles on the round of the contract with our contracting party. But as soon as we get that wrapped up, we're ready to go. We've got $50 million in the bank there. We've got $30 million of 100% purchased turbine. Uh, they're ready to hook up. So that expansion is ready to go as soon as we finish up our contractual arrangements. Sounds very optimistic. Nice to have some working capital. But you don't have a dividend uh, program in place. Why not? Uh, and do you have any plans in the foreseeable future? Yeah, and you're right, Stu. Not today, but it's certainly something that we look at and ask ourselves when the right time is. It would be extremely easy to do a modest dividend today uh, just to get it started, to break the ice, so to speak. I think, though, what, we're, what we'd like to do is to wait and do it at the right and meaningful time. We don't see it as being too long from now. Uh, we could wait for all our next round of projects to be built in a couple of years, uh, but something else, other things could happen in the meantime that would open up uh, you know, the ability for us to dividend earlier than that. So it's something that we look at frequently and we will. It's just that we want to do it in the right and meaningful way when we do it. John, how helpful is this high alpha investment conference put on by RB Milestone? It's actually been very helpful. We've made a lot of new contacts here with uh, capital providers that we didn't have before. Uh, I was just commenting to somebody else, you know, a lot of times when you come to a conference and people self-select to talk to you, uh, you get a lot of people that, well, you don't, you know, you're okay if you talk to them, you're okay if you don't. In this instance, that wasn't the case. We met a whole lot of people here who, uh, you know, are the kind of people we wanted to talk to as well. Uh, so it was good matches and uh, actually have, you know, three or four or five good follow-on conversations to happen after this. <laughs>